being that 2019 is now coming to a close, why not kick things off with a bang? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Unreal Royale, and this is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Raikon versus the Gods of Destruction. Let's not waste any more time and get things started, because I think the first God of Destruction that I might end up wanting to fight here is one of my personal favorites, which happens to be the Universe 8, I believe, God of Destruction. His name is Lakor. So, of course, guys, again, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, and slap a big fat like down below, as I do want to go on ahead and talk to you guys about Raikon, because first things first, Super Saiyan 4 Raikon cannot contest against the God of Destruction. That's first and foremost. But I want to test my grounds here, because I know that some of these destroyers are really, really strong. So, I really want to go on ahead and test myself right now. So, let's see if Lakor can provide the fight that I've been itching for for so long. Now, this year, we came out with the Dragon Ball Super Raikon manga. We came out with so many additional things for merchandise, and we have so much more planned for 2020 and going forward because it's a brand new decade, and I can't seem to hit this dude. What the hell, man? Okay, now, I think being the fact that uh, he has, like, that evasive skill, that might be a problem, but I think this version of Raikon is very, very OP, but... I want to see if I can put this dude down with one shot. If I can do that, then hey, then kudos to him. But Licor, the thing with Licor is I want to see more of what these destroyers can do because we haven't really seen what any of the gods were able to do outside of Beerus and a little bit of Chompa per se. This dude's pissing me off, bro. I'm going to tear your freaking head off, man. Yo, as soon as I can get in there, as soon as I can get close enough, man. I don't want to use my ultimate because I really have that feeling that he's going to die if I do so, but... Let me see what this does here. Oh, you're evasive. Okay, I think he broke my stamina, by the way, too. Raikon is very strong, but as a Super Saiyan 4, he has no chance. The only chance he would ever have against a God of Destruction would be in his Ascended Super Saiyan Blue evolution form, because anything outside of that really wouldn't fit the narrative. But I will say, right now, Licor is really giving me a hard time, but I want to see if I can blow him away with this. Okay, so that, that in and of itself failed. This gaming channel, guys, has been blowing up. I really have to say thank you all so much for sticking by and, you know, wanting certain things on this specific channel as we are going to be covering Dragon Ball on the main channel forever. I mean, we're going to be doing Budokai Tenkai HE3. Wow. Okay. That spells the end of that one for liquor. Uh, Budokai Tenkai HE3, Xenoverse 2, everything in the mix. But I think I want to do, like, alternative mods on this channel. You know, just in case you guys want to see more of that on the main channel, but I can't seem to provide that because I'm too busy covering something else. But I want to go on ahead and choose Rykon versus... Where's Jin? I want to choose Jin, the Universe 12 God of Destruction. Now, the reason why I think that this god really intrigues me is the fact that he resembles that of, like, the merman or, like, the fish monster. You know what I'm saying? So, he's very fascinating to me. I don't think that he's the strongest god of destruction, per se. But I really want to see what he has to offer against my boy. And again, if there's any other specific mod you guys want to see with Rykon, let me know in the comment section below. Here we go. Oh, we're about to tear that ass up. And the thing is, as well, I was thinking about doing some hypothetical you know, fan fiction involving Raikon and maybe one or two gods, perhaps maybe training with a certain deity. So if there's any gods you guys want to see Raikon train with, let me know. Because I know a lot of people are going to say, yo, man, have him train with Beerus, but I want to do something different. Maybe have him train with Licor, maybe have him train with Jin, or maybe, you know, Iwan. You know, stuff like that would be pretty cool. Um, I don't actually have Iwan in this, or Arak, I think. So those are the only two destroyers that I am missing, but... You know, to, to each its own, I suppose. All right, these dudes have, like, that quick-ass evasive tactic, so I can't seem to do much. Let me see here. Can I hit him with a finish? Ooh, oh, my God. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Okay, so it's over. Yo, Rykon is, like, he's one-shotting the gods, man. I mean, this is actually kind of scary at the same time, because this would never happen. This would never happen in the initial manga, although Super Saiyan 4 Rykon would be able to put up somewhat of a fight. There is no way that he'd be able to one-shot them. That's just ridiculous. But I want to go on ahead and pick Raikon versus... Who do we have here? You know what? Yes, Moscow from Universe 3. And I'm actually kind of surprised that people didn't really, you know, include the modded version of Moscow when he actually came out of the bot. You know what I'm saying? Towards the end of the T.O.P., we saw how he actually emerged from this destroyer, 
which he was like this little devil monster, which I thought he was pretty cool, but we never really got to see anything from him. But I will say one thing, he's massive, and uh, I think that gives me the advantage, because I don't think that he'd be able to hit me from, you know, from being that big, but it is what it is, we're gonna have to see. But I think all in all, guys, I do want to thank you all so much for supporting this channel, and I want to encourage you guys to go back and watch some of the older videos to help out the channel. If you guys want any specific mods going into 2020 or any other challenge, let me know in the comments because I am planning on doing specific challenges and specific battles, but I think more or less I am going to showcase a lot more of Rykon on this channel than anywhere else because he is a hugely popular character within the Dragon Ball community, and and yo, these gods are getting their asses torn. I'm sorry, but I forgot who made this mod for me, but whoever made this version of Rykon, first of all, thank you for not including the, gar the God of Destruction garment because I took that away from him. He's no longer a God of Destruction. That was a pretty dumb concept in and of itself. Again, if you guys have not seen the Rykon manga on my main channel, I will leave a direct link down below for you guys to check out his origins, his power, all that good stuff. Oh my God, dude. Moscow, everyone just got demolished. Licor, Moscow, Jin, who's next, man? And the thing is, I I am missing two destroyers, but I'm going to go as far as I can. Um, I don't think I'm gonna fight like specifics if if it keeps going like this, but I will say I am gonna find someone to fight that's either equal to Rykon or stronger in this game. Obviously, we have the Omni King of Saiyans, which of course I am not going to use because he is just too OP, but Catella, let's go on ahead and fight this dude. I don't know, maybe maybe Catella might do something to me that Lick or Jin and Moscow weren't able to, but I also want to get your thoughts in the comments, guys. Which God of Destruction is your favorite destroyer? Is it Catella? Is it Belmont? Is it Moscow? Is it Jin? Is it Licor? Is it Halise? Is it Iwan? Is it Champa? Let me know in the comments. Oh, okay, all right, Catella, I see you. I see you, homie. Yo, Catella, Catella trying to get that promotion there, I see. Yo, listen, Catella, in all honesty, I never really liked him. I've always hated his guts just because of the whole kick, kick, kick. Like, he was just so annoying, you know? Damn, come on, Rykon. Yo, there's nothing. There is nothing they can do to stop me. And I will say, you gotta give the community props for creating such amazing mods and atmospheres like this. Look at the map, man. I mean, just so much, so much energy from the mods and from the stages, the parallel quests and stuff. You know, without the modders, this game would be dead a long time ago. I, I, I kid you not. So, you know, I want to see how far we can go with the, uh, with these specific gods. Oh, I'm about to chop him up. Am I going to blow the mouse up? Oh, my God. Yep, I'm going to blow Catella up. And that's the way we killed him. Okay. We destroyed Catella via having him blow into pieces. Okay. Just the way I like it. All right. So, if I get through the gods, I want to see, I want to see if I can create, like, somewhat of like a Mortal Kombat like bracket system. If I can do that, then that'll be pretty dope. Uh, but that really all varies as to, you know, what kind of bracket system you guys want to see. Universe 11's Belmont, okay. Because if I'm gonna put anybody in a bracket, I need you guys to let me know if I'm going to have a seven man ladder bracket, I need to know the seven fighters that I'm going to fight, you know what I'm saying? And if I can do that, then that'll be great. Let's just see if I can clear house with Rykon right now, because so far we took out, what is it, four gods? And this is number five. I'm gonna take it easy with him because I know I can one shot him. Because this version of Belmont does not have the evasive tactic, so I think it's gonna be a little easy for me right now. Yo, this dude. And you know what? I I personally love the Belmont character. I don't like his English dub. I feel like he sounds way too ghetto. Is this it? Is this gonna be the end of the fight? Oh my god, is this it? It's over! Wow, dude! Yo! Yo! You got come on man. You guys gotta punch that like button right now just for the sake of one-shotting him with that attack. But I I I love the subversion for everything, but for the dub, I did not like the name change for Topo, you know, and naming him Top. I did not like Belmont's voice. I thought his voice was pure crap. Oh hell yeah, you know what? Let's fight our boy Beerus. Beerus has to be my favorite because he showcased more, he's developed more, obviously Chompa's number two because he also has development and room to grow, so that's why I guess you could say people could lean more towards him as well. But in the long run, I mean, I want to see more from Beerus, man. I mean, I personally do. Because this dude, he hasn't done much at all, and it's, it's kind of sad, you know? Like, you expect a lot from him, but 
in reality, it's like he doesn't do much, and it's, it's kind of disappointing in the long run. Alright, Beerus, let's see. Let's see if the God of Destruction of Universe 7... Oh, he's choking me out, bro. Okay, okay. Alright, he got me good on that one. But again, I do plan on introducing, like I told you guys before, I plan on introducing um, a, 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 a set of a set of villains for Rykon to fight in his story. Wow, dude. We, we one-shotted Beerus without even an ultimate. That's scary. So, like I told you guys before, I am planning on introducing enemies for Raikon because after he ends up fighting Goku, he goes back on planet Akeem to where he wants to learn more of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and he achieves that down the line, but not without fighting a few of the Dark Masters that I do have lined up to, you know, to fight him. So, what else do we have here? Oh, you know what? Let me choose uh, Ramush because this was a very controversial figure. Uh, early in 2017 when he was first announced because apparently like a lot of Indians like really felt offended that You know super was including this elephant, you know as you know somewhat of like a representative for like the show and uh, I you know I, I I guess like you know Indians in India have like this thing for elephants and whatnot But you know I, I, I understand but I remember Ramush was a controversial figure man Let's see what happens here man. Do you guys remember the good old days with uh, Dragon Ball Super airing? every Saturday, man, like, you know, originally back with 2017, 2016, 2015, like, that was, that was a crazy time, wow, dude, Ramush got bodied, it's, yo, there's no point of even fighting a god anymore, you know what, I have an idea, we are going to go on ahead and fight someone above the gods, and just to introduce the Rykon series, I think the first person that I want to fight who's stronger than a god is going to be none other than... Where is he? Where is he? Uh, you know what? Yes. Hold on, let's go back. There he is, right there. Uh, right there, yep. Ultra Instinct Goku, the power that transcends even that of a god. Let's see if Goku can actually evade me on time. If he can't... If there's no way he can evade me, then he's just broken. But I, I want to see what's going to happen now. And I, I don't even know how long this fight's going to last. I do have other... Uh, Ultra Instinct characters that I do plan on introducing. I think for the next video I might do UI Vegito versus uh, Raikon just to see, you know what I'm saying? But either way guys, I do want to thank you all so much for your support. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are new to this gaming channel, then be sure to smash that subscribe button, slap a big fat like down below onto this video as it does help out the engagements and the video itself. Drop a comment down below as well, letting me know your favorite destroyer and what you guys want to see in the future and what kind of bracket system I should set up in the foreseeable future for this, but alright, he evaded me one time. Yo, this dude is finished, bro. I swear, if, if you only knew how screwed you were. Oh, he's finished. Oh, he's finished. How am I gonna finish him off? Let's see. You know what? Yeah, let's let's just call it a day. Damn, that was good. Either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Tune back in for the next video, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You guys can find my Twitter and Instagram located down below, and I'll check you all in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace!